I could write you a million motivational quotes. I could show you a thousand before and afters. I could create the best and most effective workouts designed especially for you. But the truth is, you have to understand that if you do not listen when your body whispers, you will hear it scream. You need to understand we all have only one life, one body, and a million reasons to keep it fit and healthy. Here are my reasons. What are yours? And how bad you want it. The distance between dreams and reality is called action. You've asked for it, so I delivered a perfect workout routine for the entire week. Let's mix together challenging cardio exercises that require nothing else but your great energy and commitment to strengthen and challenge the most important muscle in your body, your heart, my friends, with upper body water exercises or a set of aqua dumbbells will put those arms to work and deliver some nice firm muscles as a result. That is the plan for even days, such as Tuesdays, Thursdays, and yes, you're working on Saturdays, my friends. For odd days, such as Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, we will switch the target to lower body to be fair. Let's incorporate a pull noodle and resistance ankle calves, as well as web gloves just to be sure that core and back muscles get something out of it along the way. Sounds like a plan? Are you convinced to try it? Because I cannot wait to show you this stuff. Let's go. So let me invite you to a busy aqua week routine for odd and even days. Let's go. How about if we begin with a quick warm-up? Let me show you a few moves. Step and touch with no equipment, my friends. Open and close your legs along with your arms. Link those fingertips. Feel free to move with a zigzag motion forward and backwards if you have space. If not, stay on your spot just like you see me enjoying my little spot <laughs> then move on to knee curls kick your heel back and switch your arm moves to the circle motion dragging your arms forward and then back same rule my friends if you have room ahead of you move forward and backwards with zigzag motion allow the water to make you feel lighter bounce a little bit up and down if you want 
during the warm up it's important that we are just getting comfortable with that water surrounding allowing it to make everything easier more fun like jogging start moving your knees up and down and then hold your knee for three one two three and hold and again one two three and hold it <laughs> Control your breath, just give your body a quick signal, hey, hey, I'm about to work out and it's gonna be a fun workout. This one is for odd days, like Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays, but hey, I got planned for you, my friends. I have something for those Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, as you already know. <laughs> Now that knee that we were pausing, we're gonna switch for kick. Point your toe and give me a nice kick on your exhale. Keep your toes pointed. Remind yourself it's light and easy. Then we're gonna move on to low swing kicks. But hold on, I need you to go light and easy. Point your toes for four and then flex your foot for the next four. Kick with your heel. Move your arms in really any way you want to. Then sit back and stretch your calf and hamstrings. Keep your back straight, belly in. Switch. And enjoy the same fantastic stretch on your other side. Belly in, shoulders back. Jog it out. Awesome. That was quick and easy. And guys, this is a moment where we are getting serious. You need no equipment for the first segment, absolutely zero. Aqua shoes, water shoes are optional. Yes, there's going to be some sprinting, jogging and all of it. So definitely good idea to put them on. I'm going to go bare feet just because I need you to see everything much, much better. These are final seconds of this warm up, by the way. You can shake your booty a little bit, twist those hips and catch a deep breath. Your warm-up is completed, exhale, and let's begin with the first segment. Tapping toes back, dragging arms in the opposite direction, which is forward. We'll begin light and easy, then we're gonna add high knees. By taps, I mean you just touch the floor with the toe, and then you pull your leg back and again. High knees, my friends, alternate your legs. Up and down, up and down, 90 degree point flex under knee. And notice I'm dragging my arms back when I push my knee forward. Let's do eight and eight. Next, we're gonna extend leg back. So, to add a little more challenge, how about if we don't touch the bottom of the pool this time? See how that goes? Make sure your core is engaged and also make sure you protect the lower back avoid overarching it next repeat those high knees up and up keep going you got the right give me a couple more and next we're gonna jump over and kick back go ahead flex your foot and kick your invisible target that's behind you with your heel Notice I'm dragging arms forward when I kick back. This keeps me to balance better. Now a little bit of a great front kick is happening. All your exhale, kick your heel forward. Use your core strength. Make sure the leg that's not kicking is on the bottom of the pool. And more back kicks, jump over, make it fun. You're gonna see me turning around, moving around, all of this so you could see this exercise and every other exercise from every angle. You don't have to do it. Front kicks are happening again. Maybe a little bit higher this time, what do you think? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. And now switching to cross country skiing, which is very similar to our tabs just now you're gonna switch legs both at the time and then you're gonna add front kicks again jump it over 
Make it a powerful kick. It's like you're really about to kick something. What would it be? Think, think, think. <laughs> Cross country skiing again. Any arm moves will do, my friends. I'm dragging my arms forward with a circle motion. And front kicks. You can alternate those for eight or for four. Up to you. I'm alternating every four. I like my workouts to be dynamic and different. Here's cross country skiing again for and more kicks. Oh boy, my kicks are getting very close to the surface of the water. I feel warmed up and ready for the challenge. How about you? Can you kick a little higher? Come on, you guys. These are final seconds, final seconds. You're always gonna get a quick heads up. That means you are doing your absolutely best, not that you are slowing down. <laughs> Can we establish that up front? Here's next exercise. Let's step out side to side, dragging those arms down and then to the opposite side of your body. Later, I'm gonna show you how we do power waves in this pool three minutes for this joyful exercise here we got power waves with knee oh yes this knee curl is adding a power notice i'm curling and lifting the same knee so my left arm left knee right arm left knee can you do it copy me copy me step out again drag and scoop drag and scoop eight and eight most exercises today we're gonna repeat eight times just to keep it simple if you guys fan of other numbers hey go for it i stick to eight and again power wave knee and wave oh yeah do you feel those obliques do you feel your arms no equipment and it's on fire what <laughs> give me a few more Step it out again. This time you're not gonna go very deep. I want you to go more forward and then to the side. Oh boy, those apps! Good stuff! I'm telling you, this is creating six pack. It's gonna be hidden maybe for a little bit, but it's there. <laughs> All right, knee curls, and you keep going with those power waves, or I would say power skips, right? You're scooping it toward the opposite knee. That's gonna build up strength in your obliques. Now move that knee to the side. Both arms are moving away from your knee. How's that for confusing, huh? Well, I need you guys to copy me. I need you to learn those new moves. This is good for you. I just know that. Keep on going. Hassle, 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 hassle. Oh yes, I need more. Step and knee, step and knee. Now you are scooping toward that knee. It's a little different. Step out. Drag those arms a little deeper, like before. Come on, you did it much better when we started. Can I ask for a little bit more? All right, now side to side. You're gonna look at the surface of the water and oh boy, it looks gorgeous. It's wavy, it's dangerous, it's moving. You are creating this amazing energy. I love it, I love it. Come on guys, faster, faster, faster. I wanna see it. I need you to feel it. 
I know you picked this workout because you want to feel it tomorrow. So do it, do it, do it. Ha ha. Completed and ready for the next exercise. Guys, let me introduce you jogging. Aqua jog. That's how it goes. And this is sprint. Oh yes, no bouncing, please. Can I have the same from you? Now you're gonna add punches and you're gonna go super fast for three minutes. Oh yes, hard way up my friends. Feel the challenge, keep on going. This is the fastest version of this exercise. Yes or yes. If it's not yes, if it's no, that's not what I'm asking. I need the best of you right now. Add a little bit of movement forward and backwards. Come on, keep moving forward and backwards. Keep on going. Forward for four, backwards for four. You're not slowing down. It's the same dynamic tempo either way. Now turn sideways and see if moving sideways is even more fun. Oh yes, it is. So I need you to keep on going. All right, you guys, so now I want you to mix your sprints however you want to. I'm moving sideways, heading forward, and then I go backwards, keeping up the same speed. And then again, sideways towards you. Hello, hello. Backwards. This is the best I can go. How about you? You know, when I do my best for 45 minutes, this is it. My day is completed. I don't need another two hours of workouts. That's enough. You can stop punching forward, sideways, heading sideways, just like that. Sideways, 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 and then heading backwards, punch forward. Your target is right here. Punch it again, you guys. Come on, come on, come on. Open up your legs a little more. This is wide sprint. So heading sideways, regular sprint, heading backwards, wide sprint. It's wide and wide, wild. <laughs> yes. I need you to add that missing 5% that I know you are holding back. You don't have to because these are final seconds. You can relax. I obviously have a little bit more for you. Guys, side to side kicks eight times, and then we're gonna twist into the knee. Two very cool exercises that are challenge, especially for those obliques, but yes, for your heart especially. Three minutes, here we go. Knee curl aside, I'm not touching the bottom of the pool. All right, and side to side kicks. Mix it, eight of each. With twist, I am dragging the water in toward the inside of my knee. And guys, this one is a little splashy. You're gonna see it on the camera here. I'm doing it. But I need you also look down and make sure the same happens in the water. Can you see it? The water is bubbly, it's insane. This is the speed we need. Can we do it? Pure energy, fat burn, calorie burn. That's what's happening today. Come on. How many times you will be able to repeat eight reps of each depends on you guys. Just... 
everyone is different, but as long as if you feel you're doing your best now and in five minutes and in 15 minutes, I'm good with it. I'm proud of you. Come on, give me that speed. Twist. Ouch. I'm here to motivate you, I'm here to guide you, teach you, but at the same time, I want to silence myself a little more so you can enjoy this great music selection. So have fun, twist and kick, oh yeah. All right, that's the last kick and we are twisting again. Let's turn around. And kick some more, eight and eight. That's a great number. <laughs> Keep pushing the water away. We are twisting again. How about if we now reverse that turn all the way around with the same awesome, awesome tempo. Doing good, going good, kicking more. How about if we now kick higher? We guys only have three minutes to alternate two different exercises today. That's how the workout goes. So. Three minutes gives you 90 seconds per exercise. That's just enough to get amazing results as long as you're doing your best. Splash, splash, splash. Kick, kick, kick. And we got it. We're moving on, guys. Power cross. I need you to open up those legs, make a fist, and cross and punch as fast as you can. I need you to duck down a little bit so your shoulders are also in the water, okay? That's how your whole torso, your whole upper body will feel the resistance. Go right to left, that's one. And then, oh, knee tuck jumps. Very dynamic, real cool stuff. For this particular exercise, if you have option to go a little bit deeper, do it. Every time your feet move up, I need you to exhale. Then jump out and give me those punches again. Over and over again. It's eight and then it's eight again. You got this, right? Well, enjoy it. Make sure you are rotating through those knees. There is a little bit of that rotation. Don't lock your knees. Don't keep your feet stuck on the bottom of the pool. They move up and down with tacks, a little side to side with your cross. This is like martial arts in a pool. Would you agree? You guys still doing your best, by the way? Come on, I'm just checking. Feel free to add a little movement. Cross it over, moving backwards, and yes, twisting like Elvis. Ha <laughs> ha! And then when you're ready for tucks, move sideways or move forward, like Barney. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, what a mix. <laughs> Cross it again. Come on, you guys. Punch as hard as you can. Your invisible target is destroyed. Oh, yeah. I'm doing my best. Of course. Final seconds. You know the deal. Round one. The entire round one completed, guys. You know what that means? It means that now you need aqua weight. So go get them ready. If you want, have a water break and I'll show you what is next. We're gonna start a little slower. Firstly, with lat pull down four times. Then we're gonna cut this in half and add aqua jacks. So, once more, lat pull down, keep your legs open, feet grounded on the bottom of the pool, core extremely engaged. Here's three. Here's four. Now look, I'm slightly open your aqua jacks. Look how fast these are. Can you match me? Oh yes, I'm sure you can. Here we go. <laughs> Lat pull down. We're doing it again. Four times down and then up to the water surface. Slightly open your arms. Jacks. One, two, three, and four. Do it again. You feel your arms. You feel your chest. And yes, I know, I know, you feel your abs. Same here. Aqua jacks, go for it. Keep your feet close to the bottom of the pool. These are fast. What? Flat pull down. Give me two more. And you know what's next. I know you know. There we go. Good stuff. Notice my body is not moving, just my arms. We're speeding up, my friends. Two lat pull downs, two aqua jacks. Go. The challenge is yours. We all have three minutes, but we decide what we're gonna do with it. Are we gonna chat, chat, chat? Or are we gonna smash it and do our best? The choice is yours. And I'm just getting you warmed up for the actual segment where we eventually, guys, put together a lot pull down with those insanely fast aqua jacks. Are you ready for that? I don't think so. Give me more. Two lats, two jacks. I will know when you're ready. You're not ready yet. Come on. Drag it, drag it twice. In and out. Okay, now we're ready. Here we go. <laughs> Do you feel the difference? Do you feel the entire body now challenged? Well, we only have a little time for this one, so don't waste it. Come on, you guys. Do it right. This is it. Keep going. Don't lock those knees. They slide you back. Don't jump too much up and down. The less you bounce in this, in many other exercises, the better. Final seconds, feel the challenge, exhale as you drag those weights in and then exhale out. Moving on my friends, alternate 45 degree kicks and then floating scissors. Eight and eight, combine together for three minutes. With 45 degrees kicks, you can drag those weights back. Then you have to open your arms. You see, I'm floating. My arms create a frame, legs straight, like scissors. Then jump down, give me more of those 45 degree kicks. Kick from your knee, okay? You gotta lift up your knee before you kick. I want you to flex your foot and breathe out. Drag those weights behind, just like I am doing. And now, floating zigzag, scissors, excuse me, Again, 
arms wide open don't touch the bottom jump down let's go let's do some more Ooh, the higher the better notice my feet are in a turnout position make sure you match that so toes are pointed slightly out okay float again try keep your legs straight you're always gonna find one side more comfortable and the other one uncomfortable don't worry about it we all deal with it <laughs> tuck your knee kick it kick it come on you see this is a routine that goes so fast keep on going you guys your scissors are happening again you feel your core muscles very much challenged 45 degree kicks go for it I need to incorporate those weights push them back and scissors You guys are doing amazing. I know you feel it. Keep on going, more kicks. Transitioning between one exercise and another one is very, it's flowy, right? There are no time wasted. Unless you need to stop for a quick water break, then you are excused. <laughs> but other than this, we'll just go, go, go. Come on, I want you to push those weights back a couple more times. Do it for me. Do it for yourself. Scissors. Legs a little bit wider. Come on, you guys, don't be shy. These are final seconds. You know what that means? Ouch! It means we are rock and rolling front kick touch down and then we're gonna do cross we're gonna alternate sides if you don't mind action here we go left leg is kicking like crazy as close to the surface as possible with our heel other foot grounded on the bottom of the pool and here again cross this time I need a little better rotation. I need those weights much deeper than before with weights. It's no joke. When you complete this cross, you're gonna switch leg. Kick, touch, not only down, but also back. You see how I'm pushing my foot back? I want you to do the same thing. This is how you're gonna challenge posterior part of your body. So muscles located on the back, glutes, hamstrings. I am incorporating dumbbells not only here with cross, but also with kicks. Make sure you do the same. Every second counts.
and we continue with the same amount of great energy these are all pretty much final seconds of this segment so how about if we really do absolutely best fight 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 come on you guys give it to me give it to me punch punch like there's no tomorrow even if we know there's more jab cross jab mix is next and then we're gonna be zigzagging all for eight and we continue for three minutes easy so your target is on your side now you punch it with your jab and cross and jab and cross after that you open your arms again like you did for scissors just now you do zigzag without touching the bottom of the pool after you kick your legs to the side i need you to exhale curl them back in using those abs and then switch side over and over again repeat eight times and then your feet will touch the bottom of the pool your target moves to the opposite side once more you do jab and cross you keep those weights in a horizontal position and your abs are screaming for mercy let's do zigzag again we guys have only three minutes to enjoy these two exercises so start doing your best and obviously don't change it three minutes oh yeah fight I love floating exercises, love those. I feel like Superwoman. Final seconds to enjoy this one. And I'm gonna have one more set of exercises for you with dumbbells. Jumps out and knee, out and in with knee tucks and later on skip B to finally target back of our body. Guys, keep those weights in the water as you move your knees up and down. This protects you from high impact. It's low impact even if we're attacking like crazy. Out and in and out and in. You got eight reps and then you'll be skicking, curling your heels back just like that. Targeting back of your thighs. Dragging weights forward and back with very dynamic tempo. Again, the water surface is rough. It's like tsunami or at least a good hurricane keep on curling belly in this is a slow motion i know you are moving faster than i am moving right now and that's exactly what i prescribed for you <laughs> let's tuck it out and in feel free to move a little bit forward backward all around three minutes it can get a little boring if you don't, so go for it. And I'll skip.
keep see let's point those toes this one is awesome do you guys feel those lower abs come on point your toes dragging weights forward and backward mixing those two skips even better jumps out and in back in a pull And guys, this segment where we alternate jumps out and in with skips, skip B, or later on, skip C once more, is gonna complete our routine for today. There's a different workout that I suggest you pick tomorrow. But also, I wanna remind you that your workout today is not completed until you choose stretch and relaxation make sure you do don't skip it it's very important it kind of calms your body down much needed choose 5 or 10 or 15 minute cool down already available pre-designed I have warm up included with the first two rounds which you are just completing but then i have a great cool down for tomorrow for you linked with the new video these are final seconds how are you feeling you guys do you still have energy to do your best for those final precious seconds i hope you do let's go jump out and in like we are 12 again <laughs> Round two completed. Awesome, awesome job. Round three and four is recommended for even days. So Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Do it. You're going to be busy, but it's going to be well worth it. Thanks for splashing by, joining me. Congratulations. Bye now. All right, guys, how do I look? <laughs> okay, today, we're gonna focus on lower body a lot because uh, we got gloves and we got resistance and co weights. Okay, so expect a lot of kicking and a lot of lower body challenge. But of course, just a simple fact that we got these won't allow upper body to take much of the break. And we'll begin with Pull noodles, choose any noodle that works for you. I'm gonna use a little denser one for more challenge, but you can of course go with the tiny ones from Dollar Store that you've seen me using a lot as well. So pick your resistance and let's get going guys. Each exercise will repeat for three minutes, but you won't be bored, I promise. I'm gonna create a lot of different variations of each one, so I'm gonna have fun, let's go. All right, I'm assuming you have your pool noodle ready because that's exactly what we need for the first exercise. On your exhale, twist and touch the opposite heel or knee, then kick it out to the side. As close to the surface of the water as possible. Always exhale with that twist. This is how you not only engage your obliques, but those deep core muscles that we need to focus on a lot. 